Well hello to all the people who decided to click on this video and stay to watch. I am JuddlePlays and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last episode, we took on that second mission in the gate. Nah, it's not really a dome, I guess it's just called the gate, but it was a purple coin mission and we unlocked the red star, which I did not show, but you can use the red star in the observatory right now. And we also did the Hungry Luma of the that gate. Thing, and we did one mission in the Garden Dome being the Matter Splatter Galaxy, or the one mission within that galaxy. In this episode, we're going to be starting with the Deep Dark Galaxy. Let's go. Now, if you haven't guessed already, the Garden houses some of the hardest galaxies in the game, because it's the last set of galaxies. Deep Dark Galaxy, the Underground Ghost Ship. Now, what I consider the Deep Dark Galaxy... Like, would I consider this to be one of the harder galaxies in here? No, I guess you could consider it one of the easier galaxies, but I'm not going to be saying anything, because I do not want to jinx myself, because if I do jinx myself, that's going to suck. Because there is one mission that could be quite bad, but you know, you might be wondering, why is it called the Deep Dark Galaxy? You know, it's not really all that dark right now, we're kind of on a beach setting. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 how you doing? I don't care about you, Captain Toad, the only thing I care about is this guy right here. Come on, come to Papa, come to Papa, when you actually stop running? There we are, okay, now we get to have all the star bits from you. Now, I believe with these crabs, there are some blue crabs around here. Yep, right there. As you remember, the blue crabs actually give you one-ups, so that is pretty cool. I believe the red crabs give you star bits, but eh, I don't need those. Because look at all the star bits we can get there, and I did not know there was a shell there. I do not need that shell, because there's no reason for me to use a shell right now. And I don't think I'm going to need a reason to use a shell for a little bit. But we're going to be going into this cannon right next to Spinning Toad Guy. I've always loved Spinning Toad Guy. Now... We could go over here, but this planet is, like, totally optional. So all we're going to be doing is we're going to be shooting and hopefully getting into this little uh, star right here. And I thought I missed it. I was pretty close to actually missing that. But the reason I wanted to get this star was so I can just run through all of these guys and not have to worry about, uh, like, getting hit, I guess I could say. Because these guys could be a little bit of an annoyance. And especially, like, when you have so many of them on one single planet... I think I might have missed some, I am not sure though. Did I perhaps actually miss some? I do not think I did, I believe I got all of them. Now, once you have that done, you want to grab the fire flower, and then run over here and go into this. The reason why is because we are on a very t like strict time limit right now. We need to go over here, hopefully not into that thing, and shoot some fireballs in order to light these torches. Now luckily we had way more than enough time right there, but lighting those torches causes this to go down, and that is what we need because we need to get in here, yes. We literally had to do that huge convoluted process in order to just get that. Now would I say that's a waste of time? Not really, it's a little cool thing you can do, but... We're going to be going down in the water. Yes. A ghost level and also a water level. Isn't that just crazy? Now, if you haven't guessed already, um, that arrow there is telling us to go over here. Now, I believe I can actually hit these uh, guys right here if I get close enough. I was a little far away from that guy, but I also did not want to get hit underwater. I don't know if getting hit underwater causes your air meter to go down. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ, Luigi. Getting caught up on a brick, are we? Now, get some air... That was really weird. It, like, popped, but did not give me the air until a little bit later. Also, be very careful. There are a lot of things in this water that could hurt you. Like these jellyfish. I believe those jellyfish can sting you, and the mines can blow up in your face. So, you know, just, just be careful of those. You don't want them to rain on your very majestical parade. And my throat, for some reason today, is, like, really dry. And my control stick, like, squeaked really... Well, not really loudly, but it did squeak. But we are in the ghost part of the ghostly galaxy. I don't know if I'd call it the ghost part, but it is a part nonetheless. Now, I did not actually know there was an extension shroom right here. Possibly because I never go up here. I usually just go right to the area where we need to go. But I decided, you know what? I wanted to change things up a little bit. But... We could actually explore some stuff down there in the water, but we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be going right up here into this kind of boss. Yes, I spoiled it, but...
But you should have already known it was Camella because remember there was a ship like this in the one galaxy way back then? Yeah, we have to fight Camella again. Now this time Camella's a little bit harder. I believe her first shot was actually a green fireball in the last fight. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I think it was. But we have the basic same thing that we have to do. We have to throw the green shell at Camella, and that causes her to inflict some damage. She does go onto the ship now. I'm not exactly sure if she went on the ship last time, so that might be a new thing. But uh, as I said, I am not fully sure. You just want to wait for the green shell and then hopefully wait for her to move somewhere where it is perfect for you to actually hit her. Because I would not suggest hitting her right when you get the green shell because she might disappear and you'll lose the green shell. But, oh, this is where the fight gets a little bit harder. You have to go up here. One, I'm okay. I'm surprised I did not get hit by that. But you need to go up here and fight her with this very little platform and I would personally suggest getting rid of as many of these Kamiks as possible because these Kamiks will mess with your steez and that was a lot of star bits, dang. Now, hopefully Camella will not summon more of those guys because that would be really bad because she, she will do that. She will summon more of those guys but I believe she's sending a green shell and now, after she does that, I believe she would then summon those guys, but right now we can just do that, and I believe she's dead. Yeah. It, it was not all that hard. Now, if you are able to defeat Camella without getting hit, you are in perfect condition for the mission that might come up pretty soon. I actually kind of like that rhyme, you're in the perfect condition for the mission coming up soon. Except it didn't sound right, because the rhyme, it was like an in- internal rhyme I guess you could say because it was a rhyme of a word that it wasn't the end of the phrase technically it was still in the middle of the phrase when I did the rhyme but it still was half the time and oh we already have enough star bits for the last hungry luma I did not notice how many star bits we had okay I guess we got a decent amount of star bits in the matter splatter galaxy because I totally did not pay any attention to that but Going back in the Deep Dark Galaxy, we do have a second mission, and we have a third mission, and we have a comet, and we have a secret star, like all galaxies in this game. Bubble Blast Off! Well, not all galaxies in this game, but a decent amount of galaxies within this game. All the main galaxies have that, except for the Battle Rock Galaxy and the Dusty Dunes Galaxy. Oh, the Dusty Dune Galaxy. Which I was surprised that we got through the Dusty Dune Galaxy as fast as we did. It did not take nearly as long as I thought it would, but... Welcome to this guy. It's a boss in the beginning of the stage. That's definitely different. I did not want you stupid... I don't even know what I'm talking about now. I am more concentrated on this guy than I am the actual boss. Is that bad? Is that a bad thing to be concentrated on this guy more than the boss? Thank you. I just wanted your god dang star bits. Because even though I technically don't need to collect any more star bits in this game, I still love collecting star bits. Yeah. That is definitely weird. I just realized that I literally do not need to collect any more star bits in this game, and I believe I can actually just backflip on this guy and then ground pound him. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to try to aim those coconuts at him, but you can totally just do this and like backflip on him. But whatever, I don't know. I don't know if it's easier to do the other way or not, but I know now it's a little hard because he's shooting a lot of water and at a very fast pace, so yeah. We might have to do that, except, or maybe we can actually just run as fast as we can and possibly backflip on him and, or hurt ourselves. That could also happen. God, God dang it. Okay. Backflip and then ground pound. There we go. I did not think I would get hurt by the electricity that is, that he was on top of. That was something I definitely did not think would happen. But before we go in there, we might as well get some star bits here because, bam, star bits, you know, and maybe some star bits here because... We are totally ADHD here, or at least that's how I've been playing, uh, I guess. I guess you could say my original Let's Play of this game back on my old channel was less ADHD. My commentary may have sounded ADHD, even though I do not have ADHD in the slightest, but it probably did sound like it a little bit because, well, I would probably go off from topic to topic and sometimes not finish some topics, so that would kind of suck. Or I shouldn't say suck, but it would suck when I'd have to do that. And I lost control of where I was going there for a second because I was just talking. I'm like, you know what? I do not need to pay attention to where I'm going. And I missed one guy. And you're dead. I really hope I only missed one guy. Because if I didn't only miss one guy, then I'd be screwed. I mean, I wouldn't be screwed, but I might not be in the best condition ever. 
Now, I'm not exactly sure if that long jump saved time or not, but all I know is this time we are on more of a time crunch than the first time. What you have to do is you have to shoot this, then you have to go over and shoot this one, and then you have to go all the way here and get that. And then, that with the fire flower unlocks an ice flower. So yeah, we use both of the flowers in this mission. Is this the first? No, 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 no. The Freeze Flame Galaxy did have times where we used both of those. Now, I could have actually um, went on and did a little sequence break, but I decided to go the normal way, because all you have to do is, I believe it can backflip up here, and then backflip right onto here, and that is all you need the Ice Flower for, because I don't think you're able to bring the Ice Flower any further after that, because I don't know. Climbing up the pole can take a decent amount of time. That was a little weird. I forgot that there was actually a platform down there, meaning that I probably would not have fall fallen off in the first place. Except there, I might have fallen off. But if we want to know, what we could have done in order as, like, for a sequence break, we could have did a backflip up to here and not had to worry about all those things over there. But you know, sometimes I just want to have fun and do things the correct way. And how far away are- god dang it, those coins were a little bit farther than I had, in like, thought they were, or uh, initially thought, I guess you could say. But somehow getting a coin causes that to happen? I mean, I don't know why. And I'm surprised I did not accidentally uh, get hit by the fire there by the good old Kamek. Is it a Kamek or is it technically a Magikoopa? I believe Kamek is a type, like, is just one single Magikoopa. And then these guys are just, like, Magikoopas? I'm not exactly sure. But going on here, we get into this, like, section where we cannot literally, like, we can literally not do anything. Because I tried shaking the Wii Remote and nothing happened. But... You like the showing of Cheep Cheeps here? Yeah, this is literally the only time in the game that Cheep Cheeps are here, and they do hurt you. They're not even in water. Yeah, the Cheep Cheeps, they bring them back for one mission, and the only thing they're doing is flapping around in the water. Or, not really in the water, in the lack of water. But, welcome to the weird side of Ghostly a Deep Dark Galaxy, not a Ghostly Galaxy. We have to uh, hit these things into things. By that, I mean, there's a watermelon there, and we have to hit the tennis balls into the watermelon and somehow that causes the watermelon to grow. I do not know how that causes a watermelon to grow, but it is Nintendo logic, so just keep that in mind. Now, I believe we can- yeah, okay, we're going to be going over here and getting this one coin because I do not feel like dying on this mission. Now, it, you, this could be a very easy thing you could die on, so I would not be mad at you if you do die on this because Something really cheap that can happen is you ground pound on one of these and then one of the things, like one of the lasers come and you only have one health left and you get hit by the laser. So that is something that really sucks. So when you're doing that, make sure the lasers are not close to you because if they are, you can get electrified like I mentioned and that would suck. I just consumed more water than I usually do on a water break. That was because I just really needed that water, because I don't know why, but my throat is just so, like, dry today. I don't think it's really all that dry out today. It's, it's actually pretty nice. I'm wearing, sh sh like, a pair of shorts, and I'm also wearing a tank top today, which is really crazy because I don't even think it's 60 degrees outside. I think it's a little bit lower than that, but whatever. We do have time for one more mission in the Deep Dark Galaxy. Let's go. And we might as well do the last main mission. Now, you know what? We have time for two more missions in this episode, because we're not all that far in. Let's do Guppy and the Underground Lake. Now, the reason I said we had time for two more missions is because, well, these missions are not... Like, the last three missions that we can do are not all that long. One of them is a comet. The other one is this star, which does not take long at all. And then there is a secret star, which is also not all that long, because I will show you a sequence break that you can do, and I am sorry. As always, I ate the dreaded pizza before recording this. I don't know why. I record many times on days when I've had pizza, and, like, it's funny because it's just something. Like, I do not have pizza all that often, like, maybe once every two or three weeks. And that just happens, like, whenever I have pizza, I end up recording. So, yeah, and there's something in there. I did not know there was something in there. That, I believe, is no secret whatsoever, because I have never had to go down there and get that. So, it's probably, like, 
I don't know, like a mushroom or something? That's basically what it is. I mean, I shouldn't say that's basically what it is because I do not know what it is, but we do have to go down here. Now, going down here, you do not actually have to go there. Hence why there is no arrow of star bits pointing there, pointing there, pointing there. And I believe, I don't even know if you can go there. It might be blocked off by some things that I saw. But we do have to go all the way down here to the bottom of this area. Where I believe we would have been crushed by how much water is above us by now. But, you know, eh, whatever, it's Nintendo. What, you again? You gotta be kidding me. You wanted to run me out of this lake? You gotta get through all eight rings. Yeah, um... I did not remember the accent I gave Guppy, but I remember the first time I gave- Okay, Luigi, do not get stuck on there. But I remember the first time I gave him an accent, it was not all that great of an accent, so I decided, you know what, we're not going to be going for the Australian thing. We are just going to be going for a different thing, and that different thing was whatever accent I gave him there. It was kind of country at first, and then it was not so much country, and I almost lost where he was for a second because I was a little behind. But yeah, this is kind of like the mission we did all the way back in, I don't know what it was, like, uh, Sea Slide Galaxy. Now, I know it wasn't all that far away from what it is now, but we did do this type of mission in the Sea Slide Galaxy. But this one is definitely a little bit harder, because, well, there's a lot more obstacles you have to accidentally watch out for. I would suggest getting off the shell to get that last one, because you could accidentally hit one of those, uh whirlwind thing so you can go off course and if you go off course with a shell you're really gonna go off course like that as you saw there but we're gonna try to avoid all the things we can and then get to the middle here where we can get a star and you look really sad guppy okay oh wait god dang oh, guppy you really shoot us far but what do you say all right i'm a fish in my wood take this that was a different accent as well. So we're just going to be getting this star in a very slow manner because I was not pressing the A button nearly enough for us to move forward. I usually only have one water break per episode, but this time I had two because I really needed it. Oh, 2009. 2009 was a great year. I remember that year very well, because it was my year of 6th grade, and the year I also found out what Let's Plays were, and I really did not want this fourth mission to be this, but okay, we can do the Daredevil Comet of the Ghostly D Deep Dark Galaxy. God dang it, Jordan. Say it correctly. Daredevil Comet in orbit. Okay. Ghost Ship Daredevil Run. You probably already know what this Daredevil run is. It's the Daredevil run of Camella that we fought in this episode. I really would have liked to do the other mission, the secret mission, which is in the first mission as well. But, you know, it, I just wanted some variety. And this game is not giving me any variety. I could have just done another random mission, like opened a galaxy and done that, but I am a very streamlined person. I like to do missions in a rows. I like to do missions in the, like, order they need to be done in. I mean, there's no exact order you need to do the missions in. You could do the galaxies in any order, technologically. But, eh, whatever. Technically, I guess I should say. And wait, why did you shoot the green shell first? When we fought her the first time, she shot the fire first. I don't know if that's a difference between the Daredevil run and the regular run, or what it is. But that was just something really weird. Now, yeah, you're, you're shooting the green shells first. That, I mean, that's really nice. I am not complaining. This makes the fight just a lot faster. Okay. Okay, that scared me a little bit. I did not... I guess I did not shake my Wii Remote as hard or as well enough as I needed to for that because it, my green shell did not shoot at that thing. Now, this is where I'm going to be a little nervous. And I am thank the Lord every day that I do not accidentally get hit by that when I do that. Now, okay, this is a little dangerous, a little dangerous, a little dangerous. Trying to get around here and shooting some of these guys. Okay. I jumped over the fire, and okay, I hit that guy. Well, I got rid of the Koopas or something, but I might run out of time. By that, I mean she might get the other, not Koopas, Magic Koopas back here. Are they technically the same species? I think they are now. I want to hit you before you do... I don't know why I went so silent there, but I believe she's gonna... Or she's not. Okay, why? Why? I died. Okay, 
I was not having much luck with that run anyways, but okay, I have like 35 lives to spare. 36 if you count the zero live thing, because the last life, when you have zero lives, it does count as one last life. But we can do this again! And I was thinking that the episode might be a little short if I do this and then not do the secret star, but you know, I guess I just had to die. And that means I jinxed myself, and I am going to spend so many time, like so much time on this mission, and yeah, I guess it's just something. She just gives the green shell out first time when you fight her in the daredevil run. I mean, maybe I just had a very lucky, not really lucky situation on the first time or something. I don't know, maybe it's random, and maybe it's just like it's a 50-50 chance, and it just so happened that the 50-50 happened again in favor of the green shell rather than the other thing. Oh god. Luckily, I'm only planning on recording two episodes of Luigi Galaxy right now, because if I recorded more, that would really suck, and well, bye-bye, green shell! I did not need you anyways, I just want to kill some of you guys, y'all, y'all guys getting in my way, in my way of my living, in my way, and I want a green shell, I want a green shell, I want a green shell, I don't want fire. Thank you, I got the green shell. Now, if I can actually aim correctly this time, and not accidentally, um, miss her, miss her, miss her. I don't know why I'm repeating myself, but I am for some stupid reason. Am I stupid? Possibly. Am I not? Oh god, oh my, oh my, oh my Jesus Lord Christ. Um, I do not know how I did not die there. Be actually, I do know how I did not die there. That was because, uh, the fire despawned right at that last second. Also, the green auras can't hurt you, so keep that in mind, and I believe Camella can also spawn right on top of you, we killed her, okay, it's done. The daredevil run is done, we beat Camella. I don't know why I was so nervous there, but I was. I, I don't know. It just, whenever I have a mission like that, I guess I'm just nervous because reasons. I don't know. All I know is that this episode is now done. We got the four stars that we usually get in an episode, and I decided that I did not want to finish the Deep Dark Galaxy in one episode, because that's usually what happens. Because for some reason, I go through these galaxies like hotcakes. I don't know why, it just happens. Maybe because I've played through this game many times. And by played through this game many times, I mean 100% played through this game many times. But, that is about it for this episode of Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. In the next episode, we're going to be getting the secret star in the deep dark galaxy, and then starting the next galaxy over here, that originally needed 48 stars, but yeah, we have a little more than that. So, this has been Juddle Plays, saying see you later, and goodbye.